So I review a lot of different salon software here at this YouTube channel as well as on my blog at thesalonbusiness.com. And the reason I do that is because having the right software to support you in your business is really important if you want to grow. And so I'm really excited to this week dive into one of the leading platforms for salons, spas, barbershops, uh, as well as fitness businesses. This platform is called Vagaro and you probably have heard about Vagaro if you're kind of right now in the search for finding the right software for, for your business. So like when I do these reviews, the way I typically approach this is that I start by looking at the gaps, you know, features that I think are important that should be in there, but that aren't in there. And frankly, with Vagaro, this was really difficult. Like they do everything and a bit more than everything. Uh, there's a lot of features in there and they also have a lot of features that are really unique that not many other all-in-one salon software platforms offers. It's a really strong tool, so I'm really excited to be you know, leading you through that. I will not have the time to go through every feature, right? But I'm going to focus on kind of the core features that I think you will be using every day. And also some of those things that are really unique that I would like you to be kind of aware about Bagaro. Uh, so I will be sharing my screen with you in a moment. Um, and then towards the end of this, after this, uh, I'm also going to be sharing kind of my overall assessment, the different pros and cons of Vagaro. So if you're looking to, you know, start using the platform that you can make an, you know, as informed decision as possible. So if this is the first time we meet, my name is John Halberg and I run this YouTube channel as well as the blog at thesalonbusiness.com. And this is where I share the best ideas and strategies to help you grow your salon business. Uh, sometimes we focus on reviews like today. Sometimes it's about business tips, marketing tips and that kind of thing. So if that is something that you're interested in, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out every time I publish new content here on the channel. So as said, Vagaro is packed with features. There's a lot of things in there and I'm going to be showing you a lot of that. This also means that this video is quite long. Um, so what I've done to help you is also in the description below the video. I'm kind of linking to the different parts that I'm walking through so that you can jump directly there if you don't want to sit through the, the full thing or jump directly to the end if you just want to hear my you know, final kind of pros and cons and assessment on the platform. So you'll have that link to right below the video. Uh, I'm also linking to a written review that I wrote uh, for, uh, about Vagaro uh, where I go through everything. Uh, there's also a link to a kind of comparison between different salon software where I'm listing Vagaro as well. So if you want to compare how, you know, Vagaro stacks up, you know, in different areas with, with other software, there's also a link to that that you can access. But enough of that. Let's dive straight in and I will uh, start sharing my screen with you. So when you head over to Vagaro, you will land here, which is basically the client marketplace. So this is where people go to find businesses like yours in the area and they will browse this. Um, and as you can see here, you have like a featured section. So this is something that you get access to when you're using Vagaro that you can promote your business so that your business is more visible uh, on the platform. You'll see things like live streams, what is happening right now, because that's another feature that this uh, software supports that you can do live streams as well and broadcast directly on Vagaro. Um, but we're not going to spend so much time on the client side of things, but we're going to dive into the back end and, and to the software component that you will be using in your business. So in order to do that, you will go to list your business. And obviously all these links, you know, to these pages that you're seeing, I'm going to leave in the description to this video as well. Um, so now when we land here, just wanted to show you before we log in and before I go through the features, just to show you an overview of what you get with Vagaro. Um, so as you see in the picture here, um, you know, they have the hardware with the you know, card reader. They also have a terminal looking like this that you can use. We're going to be using kind of the web browser interface uh, as we work through this. Uh, but, you know, they have other platforms to support you there as well. Um, what I think is great with Vagaro is also that they are integrating with other platforms. So even if Vagaro ships with, um, you know, like a payroll system built into the platform, they integrate with Gusto if you want like more advanced things and also Xero and QuickBooks, which are popular software uh, used by, uh, you know, salon and spa businesses. Um, so that, that, is, that is good. Um, and then just to touch quickly over the features, again, we're going to go deeper into all of them. 
Um, but just you kind of have an overview before we dive in. So naturally you'll have a calendar and we're going to look at the calendar next uh, and all the things that comes with that and how you manage that. Uh, but what I think is really powerful with Vagaro is also their like customer tracking and forms uh, and like using them together. Because uh, this is where you can store information on your client so that, you know, when they come back in, you have, you know, all their information. It is easy to view that past appointments and, you know, collected information using forms and so on. Um, and the richness in support here really makes Vagaro stand out among many other solutions. Um, other things you have is notifications, um, you know, to reduce no-shows with reminders and that kind of thing marketing support we're gonna go deeper into marketing and how you can use that which is which is powerful uh, online booking that you can leverage on your website by integrating their booking widget or in you know integrate with your social media um, and then you have powerful business reports you do have a page builder um in there which allows you to create a website really quickly um which which can be very helpful it's not the most advanced page builder i would say um, so in most scenarios, I would probably recommend that you're building your website in something else and then using their booking widget and so on. Um, and we're going to go into that, but it, it is there. So if you want to get started, you want to have something created quickly, uh, there is support for that in the platform. And uh, you have a mobile app that you can use in the business uh, and also that your clients can use, which is another one. And point of sale and credit card processing, which is all integrated with the platform. So we'll look at that in a moment. Um, so yeah, this is a leading platform. It has a lot of people and businesses uh, using it. It's getting top reviews on the different comparison sites out there and it is a popular solution. Um, what I would want to call out um, as well is really their support. So not all platforms have this type of support where you can you know, reach them 24 hours, seven days a week. They also have phone support available. And I was in touch myself with the support as I was going through the process, which was super helpful. Um, so I just want to kind of call that out because I think that can be very important when you're getting started with a, with a new tool um, to have good support available. Uh, they also have a free trial. Um, so after this review, when we've gone through it, uh, the tutorial, you should of course like go and you know see for yourself um, and you can do that for a month for free. Um, another important part is obviously availability. So the countries that are currently supported by Vagaro is uh, United States, Australia, Canada, and the UK. Um, I know that there are other businesses who also like based in other countries who are using the platform, uh, but there are certain features that are country specific, like things like payments and so on, uh, which would be limited in that case. Uh, and these are really like the supported market that Vagaro is focusing on, even if, of course, I hope they will want to expand to more countries as well. Um, so that's just an overview of the features. And before we dive in, I also want to go through pricing because pricing is important. Um, and so what I like with the Vagaro pricing model is that it's very transparent um, and it's like easy to understand. There's no not you know hidden fees and things like that, but you really understand what it is that you're paying for. Um, and their model is based on the number of employees first. So the base price is 25 per month, which is very affordable. Um, and then you can just choose how many you know staff you have, and that is ten dollars extra basically per staff um, that you have working for you, up to seven. So if you have more than seven, it will not go beyond you know the eighty-five dollars. Um, so you know if you have a bigger team, that's that's what you will be paying at the max. Uh, what I would say also is that. When it comes to the number of staff, this does not count, you know, admin and uh, you know managers and and these kind of people. So they will be able to access it for free. So number of staff is just based on those who actually provide services and need to have a calendar where they can be booked and so on. That is kind of what the number of people are based on. So if you have admin and so on, uh, they will be able to access it for free. Um, so that's the base pricing, and then you can choose if there are specific, more advanced features that you want. Uh, and you can choose to pay extra for that. So for example, if you wanted to, like we looked at earlier, you want your, your business to be featured, uh, you will pay $10 extra per month in order to be featured higher you know, on the marketplace. Um, if you wanted to add an online shopping cart, that would be an extra $10 per month. But you know, you have all those uh, you know, extras um, called out here as well. If you wanted to add a website builder, that's the $10 per month. So, you know, the pricing is very transparent and you kind of pay 
for what you need with this a la carte, pri a la carte pricing um, and then buy, buy member of stuff. So overall, I think very affordable in terms of what you're getting for, for the, the price here and the number of features and the support. Um, I think it's a very attractive price point, but um, you know, there you go. So that's pricing. Let's then move to the back end and we're going to look what, see what that looks like. Uh, so to do that, you would of course need to go create an account. I already have an account, so I just clicked on login right now. And you know, when you have your account created and you go log in, you will land directly on your calendar. So the calendar view is most likely where you will be spending most of your time. So I just wanted to cover that. Um, and so you have different views, day view, uh, week view, uh, in terms of how you can view your appointments. You also have the agenda view, which I find really helpful, um, with just a simple list of all your upcoming appointments. Um, you can also switch so that you can view multiple employees. If you have that, just tip, uh, tick um, all employees or tick the specific ones. Uh, and then hit checked uh, and you will be able to view also what other members of your team you know what what it looks like uh, but let's go back to just looking at my calendar um, if you wanted to change something you have kind of the drag and drop functionality so if we wanted to move Janet to you know the next day we'll just do that um, and then you can hit notify customer to send the information to them so they're aware that their appointment has changed um, but we're not going to move that right now. So, you know, that's how you can control it. If you want to add something, you will just click on the calendar. Um, you can, you know, you have the waitlist option, but here we want to add an appointment, for example. Um, so let's say we wanted to do a women's blow dry. I'm just picking something. Um, and that would be for Sarah and we we'll book her. And now that will just be added to, to your calendar. So it's easy to use it in kind of a visual way you'll also see that you have different colors on here so gray means that it's checked out so the customer has been checked out um, and then you have different colors that you can view up here what they all mean so for example red here would be a no-show and you know again gray checked out and complete um, and then you know if a customer has arrived and you want to show that uh, you can go uh, and you know mark it as green um, and that's how you would manage the, the different colors. Um, so what, what's helpful that you don't see here now is also the services. When you set up the services, uh, you can set them up so they have processing time or preparation time or gap time and that kind of thing. Also to make sure that you know, when, when someone is booked, um, that they will be bookable also at those times. Uh, similarly, if you have services that require resources, uh, maybe you have a specific room where the service needs to be done or on a massage table or whatever it might be, you can connect also your resources to your services so that you don't double book resources uh, as well. Um, so that's just a little bit on, on the calendar. Um, and let's say we wanted to go and check out the customer. So let's take Carol here, for example. Um, we just go down, you just click on the appointment and you go down to checkout. So that will pull up the checkout view and add the service that she had automatically. Uh, you can then add more things in here. So let's say we want to add some product, we add the shampoo. Um, you have options like you know gifts as well, if you had a gift uh, certificate. Um, or if you want to add the package or membership. So these are other types of products that we will talk more about in a bit, but that you can also, of course, add the, to the checkout. Um, and then um, before paying, you can add tip as well um, if you wanted, and then choose the payment options. So right now it's $71 in total. So let's say we're going to pay that in cash this time. We just add 71 in and you can go ahead and check out the customer. So successful checkout, you can choose if you want to email the receipt or if you want to print the receipt. Uh, let's not do that for now. Uh, it also pulls up this um, automatic uh, support for rebooking, which I find really helpful. So if you want to book, book the customer in in a, in a you know, certain amount of time from now, you can manage that directly when you have the client um, at the checkout. Uh, but let's not worry about that right now. So we're now checked out. Uh, most likely the way you will want to accept payments is obviously with credit card, right? 
And in order to do that, if you wanted to use the card terminal with your computer, like how we're working right now, you would need to install a driver. So it says connect down here, uh, which you would need to set up. And you would also need to apply for a credit card. Uh, and the way you do that is you go up to settings and you have your credit card application. So that's likely what you need to go through in order to get set up so that you can start accepting card payments. Um, let me just go into that so you see what that looks like. In my case now, I already have a merchant account, so I could just go in and request you know, the free card reader so I can start accepting the payments. In your case, you might not have that, so you would need to go and apply for, a, for the merchant service. Um, and when you select that, you have all the information here. So, uh, you know, details about the pricing per transaction um, that you'll find on this page. Uh, information about the card reader, the support with contactless pay and so on. Um, and the different uh, pay desk options. Um, I think you will see your options a little bit further down. Um, so what I find really helpful as well is this is actually a new feature. So if you have booth renters, um, for example, you can also uh, set up a rent collection um, when you have this enabled, um, which is really unique. I haven't really seen that with any other software. So to be able to collect uh, rent as well um, directly within Vagaro. Uh, obviously, with your online store, you will be able to uh, accept payments as well using your merchant account. And then... Uh, you know, you have a lot of different options for hardware here. Um, so the card reader, which is free, um, that you will be able to request. Um, and then also the pay desk uh, with, you know, barcode scanner and all of that support um, that comes from uh, from Bagaro. So overall, when it comes to calendar, the checkout, um, your payment options, uh, there's really rich support here and I couldn't really find anything. Uh, that I would be missing, but you have all these detailed features like processing time and so on that I know is important and sometimes missing all of that, you know, you'll find in there. So next I wanted to cover customers where you can view all your client data, which is really rich within Vagaro. Um, so just to show you what that looks like, I'm just going to go in, we can select the customer, Brenda here, uh, and you'll get a nice overview of, uh, of, of the client. Obviously, you can go in and you can track, you know, past appointments and all that kind of thing, uh, products that she has purchased. Um, and what's really helpful is notes. Uh, and notes is something that you can view on the client, you know, on the appointment, on the calendar as well when a client comes in. So you kind of have that information easily at hand. Uh, and so this is where you can create custom notes. So you just go create new, you know, if it's a general note about the customer, maybe a specific color formula or, you know, something like that. And that you want to have uh, visible on the client when when um, when 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 she's coming in, and uh, that you will store on the notes. There's also some advanced features here, like the sew up forms, probably more for you know chiropractors and and that kind of business, uh, where you can add more more rich details. Uh, you can track forms that she's submitted, which we'll talk about in a bit. Uh, so here you can see, for example, a customer survey form um, that she completed, uh, and you can view that. Files is where you'll store images and other types of files as well. Um, so if you have, um, uh, you know, images before and after and so on that you want to be able to track on the customers, uh, there's rich support for that. Then you can track gift certificates, packages. You know, if she's part of a membership that you have, you can see what, what that is. Uh, and so really quite in depth uh, in terms of what you can add on as information on the client and all that is accessible then you know when a client comes in uh, which is very helpful so next we'll move to marketing and the marketing features available to you um, so just going to the marketing tab you'll see all of this so let me talk over some of them or talk over all of them and then I'll go deeper on some of them so you'll have feature your business, which is basically what allows you to, you know, advertise and get more a more prominent space on the Vagaro marketplace. Uh, and then you have a number of things here. So you have a website builder, you have the email and text marketing, uh, the daily deals that you can have available on the Vagaro marketplace. Um, you have some integrations with social media, the ability to upload photos here and adding a booking widget. Um, so I wanted to go deeper into some of them. Let's just quickly look at the... Uh, the website builder first. Um, 
just so you kind of have a view of what that looks like. Um, so when you come in here, it's actually really easy to you know create the website without knowing any tech here. So as you come in, um, there's already a site available for you, and you can kind of choose you know the template that you like out of the built-in templates. Um, I would say like this is not the most advanced website editor. Um, you know, it's it's good that it allows you to create the website quickly, but um, I, I think there could be some improvement opportunities on on some of the designs potentially. Uh, and most likely, you will have a website built, you know, using another tool, uh, and you won't necessarily be using this. But it's something that is here. Um, it allows you to get something created quickly. You can even like connect a custom domain name, so you can have your own .com address pointing to your site. Uh, so. You know, and it's you know really easy to work with. You just click to edit, you know, edit the text if you want to change the banner image and so on. Uh, it's very visually easy. Uh, so if you have no technical backgrounds, you can still get something created rather quickly. Um, so that's the website builder that is there. If we go into what you probably will be using more, which is the email and text marketing. Um, so let's go in as if we're gonna create a campaign. Um, so. Actually, with like the basic Vagaro plan, you get a thousand emails included that you can that you can send out. Uh, if you want to do more than that, you would need to um, purchase for addition, additional emails. Similarly, with SMS, you would also need to, you know, pay extra for doing that. So let's just quickly look at what you know what you can do here uh, if you want to send out an email message. So you would just go to create a campaign. Uh, and you have a few different options on the type of campaigns. So commonly used would be an email blast, which is basically just you know sending out an email to all your clients or to a set segment of your clients. Uh, but then you have these which are more automated. So you can have emails going out on clients' birthdays, when you're about to lose the customer, right before they're you know about to visit you, or directly after the visit. So you can kind of tie it to those events so that you know your marketing works for you in the background and automatically these emails are being sent out which feels a little bit more personalized as well for for the client but um, let's create an email blast so we can just do a let's say we were going to do a uh, uh, like you know we're back open if you've been <laughs> if you've been closed uh, it doesn't really matter um, so we could call it that that would be the subject line we do an email blast. Who do you want to send this to? So this is just a test account I'm working with now for this demo purpose. So there's not many customers in there, but most likely you will have a lot of them. So you won't, you know, you don't want to send to all. So you would go to filtered list, and this is really quite powerful because you can uh, select the different criteria for who you want to send to. So um, you know what this has been a customer since. Uh, you know, a certain date, you only want to sell to your old, older customers, when was the last visit, so since, you know, a certain date. Uh, you can set all these different criteria, what their age is and so on, and that way segment your list if you want to run a specific campaign to, you know, old customers who has been with you for a long time, or if you want to do something specific like that, you can sort your list in an effective way here uh, using this segmenting tool. Um, so that you might want to use. We're just going to go with all customers now because there's not uh, that many in here. So um, what you do, um, you can then also choose to schedule. So either you send it out immediately or you set a date. So you want this to go out tomorrow or you know at a certain time. Uh, we're just going to do send now and you click next. Uh, and it will take you to these predefined templates. Um, so you can just go in and choose something that fits you. Uh, on the left here, you can choose you know if you're a beauty business maybe you like uh, let's say we will like this one and it would automatically give you a template that you can start working with and then you have this visual interface you can just drag and drop you know if you want to add some text in we could drop that in say hello in that um, and you'll have that going in there if you wanted to so we already have some buttons added here uh, maybe you wanted to include um, Something else, I mean, you have two images, so you want to display two different images down here, okay, then you can just go to the gallery, pick an image if you have one there, or, you know, upload your own. So you can see it's quite visually easy to work with this tool, and when you're happy with uh, what it looks like, 
you'll just click on announce and your email will be sent out if you said that this was going to go out immediately or if you've scheduled it for a later time it will be saved and then sent out later i think you actually need to tick that box before you before you click announce so that's how easy it is to just send out the campaign and it works in a similar way also with these other types of campaigns uh, so it's a nice and simple easy to use uh, editor uh, that is more powerful than most other platforms out there i would say <coughs> when i when i work with this and again you get a thousand emails you know included as part of the as part of the basic plan so that is the email and text marketing um you know the other th thing that would be interesting to look at is also the booking widget of course and you know how to add a booking widget to your site uh, integrations is rather straightforward and uh, you would just go here so i don't think we need to spend time on that you can see all the in integrations that they have and then you know learn more about you know if it's instagram and you know whatever you want to integrate with but to add a booking widget let's go through that um and this is this is really really rich in terms of what you can do with the with the booking widget so like in this interface you will be able to design it as you want it to work and basically what the widget is to start there is just allowing you for for people to book on your website um so you have a few different ways you can do that you can have it in website and uh, you can have it as a pop-up so they would need to click a link and it's like you have it as a pop-up on your on your site if you want to open it in in a new tab or if you just want to have an external link to a dedicated booking page so there's a few different options that you can do here most likely you know if you have a website you probably will want to kind of embed this booking experience on your site um so that you know people can stay on your website when booking uh, and so you have a few different customization options and down here is when where you have a preview of what this booking widget will look like um, so for example, you can choose if you just want to display services, we can untick those for example. Oh, there we go. Um, so you'll have services in the book now and then it looks, you know, like this. If you wanted to include uh, products on there, you would just tap products and you'll have that as a, as a tab that people can go to as well and browse your products directly on your website if you're, if you're using that feature. So really you can feature a lot of you know everything that you sell and promote via via garo if it's the gift cards or services and uh, you can feature that you can also feature reviews if you have the reviews on your Vagaro profile you can feature that on your website uh, and in terms of design changes uh, what you can do is to change the the, the color of the the button uh, that people will see uh, in here right so now we have blue buttons instead to make it kind of fit your branding if you're embedding this on your website and uh, just to show you quickly how that works as well when you hit save and i've selected that this should be in website you'll get a code here so all you need to do is just copy this code yeah send it to the agency that is building your website so they can drop it on the website if you're building your website yourself uh, you will just need to, you know, depending on the website builder, uh, but just add in, you know, it might be called a code block or, or something like this, where you can just paste this code in and, uh, you know, this will load on your site and you will have an integrated booking experience with your brand directly on your website. So really quite rich, I would say, the, the booking widget. It has more options than most other software would uh, would offer so i think that's uh, really good so that's what i wanted to cover around marketing obviously marketing is a big topic here at the saturn business is something we talk about a lot in in different videos so for more like strategies and things on how to use these tools effectively you know stay stay tuned to the channel but as you can see there's a lot of good support built in right to the tool here uh, to support you on your marketing and so next I wanted to show you forms, which is the next tab up here. So forms are essentially like where you can collect information from your client um, and you can have those as kind of mandatory. So people need to fill out those forms before coming in or you can just send them out to specific clients and, and so on. Um, really quite, again, a powerful feature. So if you go to, so I have a couple of forms listed here in order to create a form, You'll just hit the create new button and it will have a few standard ones already available for you. So if you want to have like rental agreements uh, or if you wanted to have a, 
you know the COVID-19 waiver or you know whatever it might be uh, you have this already you know available for you so we can start with actually like using the customer survey for example and um, so by using that you already get some questions added for you just so we have something to look at and if you want to change a question you know you just edit that if you wanted to add in another option here you just drop that the type so now i use the multiple choice if you wanted to show something else maybe you wanted to have a signature in in your form so they need to sign here at the end somewhere you would include a signature um, so it's really visual and easy to just drag and drop those in, change what the questions should be that you want to ask. And then at the bottom of the form, you'll just set up, is this like mandatory for all clients? So they will be you know, reminded about this. It needs to be mandatory when booking, so they need to fill out the form uh, when booking a service or when purchasing a membership. And um, so you know, that you can configure in here. Uh, and you have a very simple and effective way to collecting information in you know, many different formats. Uh, and all that information that you collect will, as we saw earlier, be visible on the client's profile. So when they come in, you can easily like pull that up uh, and view the information that is available on the client. Um, so next, I wanted to go into reports as well, which is the next tab. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the reports, but just so you kind of see that this is very rich, right? You have uh, all the types of sales reports, employee reports, if you want to like look at rent and fees if you have booth rentals specific reports for that for customers new versus returning there's all types of reports in here where you can just configure and run payroll reports for employees uh, as you can see there's a number of reports available here so you will really have all the support you need and we don't necessarily need to go through that right now so next i just wanted to head into uh, settings so we kind of cover the main tabs here and so under settings is where you have a lot of different options, as you'll see in the in the menu of settings here. Uh, and I simply will not have time to go through everything, but just uh, focus on some of the key elements here. Um, so we already talked a bit about the booking experience, how you can create the booking widget uh, and the website where, where people can book. Naturally, here you have more configurations and settings uh, in terms of you know confirmation requests when do you want to be have that do you want to have that and when should that be sent out and appointment reminders do you want the custom message to be uh, included as part of that uh, these type of settings you will manage in here uh, but what i wanted to spend more time on is things we sell which is basically all the things that you can sell via vagaro uh, and naturally what will be your focus most likely is on services so what's cool with Vagaro compared to some other salon softwares is that they also cater to fitness businesses, right? So uh, not only can you manage services in here, but you also have classes. Uh, so if you're running group sessions um, and that kind of thing, you can set up different classes in here as well so that people can book in for those. Uh, you can also manage resources. So if you have, um, uh, you know, a climax on or, a, you know, some type of tool, um, that needs to be used in the service, you can add those in. And the benefit of doing that is you can attach that to the service, uh, which means that you avoid uh, you know, resources being double booked um, when people book in for, for a service. Uh, but let's go through services in a little bit more detail because that's what's going to be you know, uh, something for sure that you will be working with. Um, so here are just some of the things you can, you can change here. You can add a description, name, put an image to it. Here you can attach a resource if you wanted to do that. Again, so it doesn't get double booked. Uh, you can add cost in as well to get better visibility on your profitability. Uh, taxation. Uh, you can offer these as live streams as well. Um, this is also one of those really unique features uh, with Vagaro. So if you wanted people to be able to book you for a live stream session uh, and that is managed remotely, uh, you can do so in here. Um, also, if you're doing like a house call um, that you can enable so that this service is not necessarily taking place inside of the salon. Um, and then you can configure your prices and do you want to show prices or, or not? Um, or, you know, show pricing as a starting price. That's what you can configure. And even by stylist or by, you know, member of staff, you can configure different pricing and different duration and adapt the service also uh, to, you know, different people. Um, working in your business so that is services so let's just go back in here and talk about some of the other things you can offer um, so memberships 
also not something that everyone would offer. So for a fitness business, this is a common thing to use, right? A membership business model, less so in the salon, even though there is a trend here, and this is certainly like on the rise, being able to basically charge reoccurring income um, for being a member at your salon, at your spa. So you can create those memberships in here. Um, and uh, let's just go into one quickly to see what that looks like. You can give it a name, description, a price. Should this be a monthly membership, weekly? How often should they be charged, basically? Should this auto-renew? Um, do you want to be able to feature this online as well so that people can register for it you know, on your website or via that widget that we looked at earlier where you can feature it? Uh, all of that you can set up and then you can s configure you know, what should be included in this. Uh, do you want to have a certain discount? So. In this example, uh, membership I created, you have a 20% discount on, on your haircut. Uh, or you can set up to like across all services a discount or specific services, or even have, you know, you get access to touch up services for free. Um, so you don't have a discount, but actually make it free, for example. Um, so there's many different ways that you can do this, um, both for services and classes and also for products. Um, and add in kind of the value that is delivered via being a member at your location. So you have support for that in here, which again is not something that all uh, softwares would uh, would offer. You can also create packages, which is great if you're doing kind of an intro promotion or you're running a you know Facebook campaign or something like that where you want to have a specific package that you promote. Uh, you can create that here. Um, so you just go new package and you define you know what should the price be for this package. Um, you give it a name um, and you can you know include the services that they will get inside of this package and you can do some other things as well and also here show this you know on your site uh, so that people can actually buy your package directly online and uh, the other part is of course inventory and products so that you can keep track of inventory level uh, and also add products in that you want to be able to sell um, in your online shopping cart so uh, you know, all of these things that we can sell, you can enable um, in your like virtual store, selling products, memberships, packages, gift cards, uh, classes online directly and capture credit card information on your website. Um, so if we just go into, I just added one in as an example here, um, which would be a shampoo, um, you know, you can add all your products in here. Configure that on brand level, um, product name, the type, um, how you want to deliver this, if this is a drop shipping or if, if you're managing the shipping of it uh, and then track the inventory and you can set up the quantity when you that you have in stock uh, and then it will you know track that for you and notify you when you're about to run out of uh, uh, run out of product. You configure like all those details, which I don't think we need to go through, but like the cost, the selling price, you know, your margins. Do you want to enable this online? And you'll, you know, can have a photo of it, so you can again create this virtual store for you, so that people can shop for it from you um, directly on your website. Um, so yeah, that's um, a brief overview of inventory and how you can add add uh, products to your inventory to sell inside of your business or directly on your website. Uh, the other part that you'll have under settings is also you know, employees. And I would say generally Vagara has strong support for, uh, you know, managing teams, including built in payroll, also integration with payroll providers. Um, and here's where you will manage your employee profiles. So in this example, we just have two accounts in here. Uh, obviously, you can go in and, uh, you know, set up all the all the details for your employees. In terms of uh, security, what access level do you want them to have? So this is a service provider. Do you want it to be a manager or configure different service levels? Um, rents and fees as well um, is uh, something that you can set up, which again is a like really unique feature to be able to, if you have booth renters and so on in your business, manage that directly within within your uh, within the salon software. So. Uh, that's like how you configure em uh, employee profiles, um, rents and fees as well you have here. Um, you can get, you know configure, um, so again, recurring rent, if you want to enable that, how should that be paid? Is that via a credit card? Is that via bank transfer? Um, really cool, I think, that that is built into the, to the, to the platform. Um, access levels, um, 
you know, we're not going to go in and edit all those, but here is where you configure them. You can add more access levels as well. So, you know, again, really like rich support when it comes to team uh, and uh, uh, managing teams. So let's just cover quickly if we have missed something important within settings. As you, as you can see, there's a lot of things in here. So it would be impossible for me to cover all of this in a reasonable time. So you know, taxes and all of that you'll have in here. Look and feel, if you want to change the look and feel of your, you know, calendar, uh, use different color themes, all of that you can do in here. Um, just to talk a little bit about the add-ons. Um, so we've talked about some, uh, but they really have some really cool uh, things in here. One would be the branded app, for example, which is a bit more, you know, a specific thing that, you know, if you wanted to have your own custom app for your, for your salon, you could um, you could create that and they will actually design it for you. So you send them, you know, your logo uh, and then you can, uh, you know, they will help you design that to make it look in line with your branding. So you can have online booking, your shopping cart, you can buy from you directly in your personalized app so that people don't go through the Vagara app, but you actually have your own, you know, salon app. Um, so, and, you know, get notifications and, and that right in here. And again, they will design it and you approve it, they deliver. So, you know, it's it's a great, uh, cool feature that they have there. Um, and I think we've talked about most of the others um, that you see in here. Vagaro Drive, that's if you want to buy extra storage storage space because you have a lot of, uh, um, uh, you know, media files and images and so on. Integrations, we've talked about uh, marketing, we've covered. So... As you can see, there's there's really quite quite a few things uh, inside uh, available to you here uh, in Bagaro. So we have covered a lot. Uh, we've been going through the full system, looking at a lot of features. Thanks for staying all the way until here. So I just wanted to uh, cover some of the pros and cons of the platform. Uh, kind of my overall assessment uh, of Vagaro uh, and then also talk a little bit about who I really think this is for and who will have the best use of this tool. So uh, the number one thing um, that comes to me when I, when I work with Vagaro is just the sheer amount of features that are available inside of the platform. Um, I, I'm sure you saw that as we were going through the tools, like there's not really one use case I can think of that Vagaro wouldn't be able to support you with. Um, so I'm really confident that like, you know, using this tool, you will find all the things that you need in there. Um, and there's really quite a few like very specific things um, that you wouldn't find in really any other software. Um, things like, you know, the, the support for memberships, recurring payments. Uh, they have very sophisticated intake forms that you look that we saw, right? The customer data, what you can do there, what you can store on the profiles. Um, I think the fact that you can charge also rental fees, if you have booth rentals, for example, in your business, I haven't seen that in another system. Um, so there's a few of those features that makes Vagaro also really unique, despite also covering basically all of the basic, um, basic use cases. And on top of that, which we didn't really talk about, but they also have these custom services available to uh, those who use their platform. So if you need a logo type design, they can help you with that or if you want to create a custom app for your salons, you want your clients to have your salons app, they can do that for you as well at a very like affordable cost. Um, so, you know, all this makes, makes it ex incredibly rich, I would say, in terms of like what they offer. And I think that is the main thing uh, with Vagaro, uh, all the support that you get in there. And on top of that, um, they have a very good customer support. That's my experience working, you know, with, with them. Um, so that's why I also feel very comfortable recommending uh, Vagaro because I know you will be in, in good hands with them um, and they will you know, like help you take you through any challenges you know, that, that you might have. Uh, you know, using Vagaro, you also have access to their marketplace, which is also a good thing. Uh, so yet another marketing channel for your business uh, where you can get new clients booked and new clients to find you. And all of this I would say at a very affordable rate, like starting at the $25 currently per month. Uh, and you have this a la carte menu where you can add things on that you, that you need, uh, but very transparent pricing and you know, you're getting a lot of power um, for the money that you're you know, investing in this platform would, would, be, my, would be my take on that. Um, if we look at the cons, um, 
I find it hard, <laughs> again, especially to find features that were missing because it's really everything is there um, and all these like small details that I would be looking for are there. Um, but maybe like just the sheer amount of features also makes the learning curve of getting started with Vagaro a little bit higher than other systems, I would say. So it took me a little bit of time in the beginning to figure out, you know, where should I go to find this and that and so on. Uh, but after a while and using the tool and I got used to it, I think it's, uh, it's, it's perfectly fine. Um, the other part that I've noticed like working with it is that it sometimes takes a little bit of time to load the different pages. Maybe it's just me who's kind of like always want to go through things quickly. But uh, you know, for some of you that might be, uh, you know, some frustration. Don't think it's a big, big thing though. Um, but you know, could be loading faster. Um, the other point is like when, when a client books with you, they would need to create a Vagaro profile, uh, you know, on the Vagaro site. Uh, not really an issue. They can just do that as part of their booking procedure. But I know that this is something that sometimes is raised by some salons that they want to make sure that the client only registers with them and you know they are the only one who has uh, the data about that client. Uh, here they need to create a Vagaro profile. Uh, you know, no big deal, and it and it's like quick to do. Um, and so the only like feature uh, which I talked about earlier as well that I think would you know be good to update soon would be the website builder. It is great in the sense that you can get something up super quickly because it's just using the data that is already available on your profile in order to spin up a site super quickly. Um, but I think in terms of like the design and you know your ability to customize, I think they could be doing more in that area. So I hope that that is something that they will be doing more of. But at the same time, like. For most of you, you will probably use an agency or something like that to design your website in WordPress and you would just drop the booking widget that we looked at onto that site or you will use a platform like Squarespace maybe if you're creating your site for yourself um, and then you would just use the booking widget. So, so most likely this uh, is not going to be a limiting factor either. Um, so yeah, that's overall, uh, you know, just I'm, I'm just really impressed with all of the things they put in there and I can tell that you know they've worked close with with the with with their clients to understand their needs and kind of adding things in because there's just a lot of stuff a lot of stuff in there so this platform could really be for um, anyone uh, because of their like affordable pricing and they start with you know uh, you know dependent on staff and the features you want it's really affordable so even if you're a solopreneur uh, you know, independent stylist, you could certainly use Vagaro. If you're a bigger salon, absolutely. Um, so you can kind of grow with you. Um, I do think though that this platform has been designed more for the bigger salon because of all the like built-in payroll, great team management support. Um, you know, you have a lot of that richness that the, that the bigger salon would need, would need. So I think that's, you know, who this has been designed for um, to, to have success with. Uh, but again, I think in a way anyone could could really use this. But and you know, there's so much in there. And if you would, were, if you have like more specific needs than what Vagaro offers, uh, you know, you probably won't be able to use a you know all-in-one type of salon software where you have everything under one roof. But you probably need to invest then with you know an IT consultant to help you set up your booking, your point of sale, your website, and all these things kind of separate separate if you want more customization than this. Um, because from if, if we look at other all-in-one salon softwares, um, you know, you, you cannot really get that much more advanced than this uh, in terms of the features um, that you have there. So, so yeah, that would be my overall assessment of the tool. Uh, and I hope you found that helpful. I hope you found the tutorial and like going through all the features helpful. Um, in the description to this video, I'm also leaving a link to uh, my written review uh, about Vagaro where I go kind of more detailed on some of the features. You also have a comparison with other salon softwares out there um, so that you can also see how Vagaro stacks up uh, against them. Uh, so I'm linking to all of that. Of course, you know, next step for you would be to create a free trial and then see for yourself if, if this tool and the experience is, is what you're looking for. Uh, but I'm confident that a lot of you watching this, this will be the exact right thing uh, for you. Uh, but go see, see for yourself uh, if it makes sense. Uh, and I'm leaving all of those links in the description below. So, um, you know, thanks for watching all the way to the end. And I look forward to seeing you inside of an upcoming video.